Ryan. I'll be darn. Way to go. We're we're back. The team is back together. That's right. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. That's boys right. Are, <laughs> All right, we've got this uh, 67 TR6 uh, fired up, put together, cleaned up, wiped down, uh, started. Uh, we're going to do uh, the very first uh, test ride, we being Kevin. One kicky wicky. Two kicky wicky. Okay, well, while he's riding at a, around a few blocks, I'll tell you what we found this morning. Uh, in the comments, uh, responding to one of my uh, uh, YouTube guys, uh, I said that um, we did something stupid yesterday and now we're paying the price. Well, uh, we did something stupid yesterday and we had to pay the price. While we were working on the bike yesterday, we wanted to make sure that the magnetic rotor in the uh, electronic ignition mag, mag uh, sensors uh, department had not come loose and rotated. Uh, I've seen that happen before if they're not tightened properly. Uh, th it was tight. It was just fine. But when we put the plate back in, uh, we crossed the wires. We put the black yellow to the black white, the black white to the black yellow. Uh, in our defense, the wires on the bike were really, really old and we didn't have enough light and we weren't careful enough and so for the rest of that morning, the ignition system was trying to advance backwards. Successfully, I might add, because we never got the bike started. So um, that afternoon and, and uh, this morning before I got here, Kevin had gone through the carburetor, had gone through the valves, gone through everything he could think of. Uh, we got here and decided to turn the ignition back to zero, start all over, find uh, top dead center, move it to the full advance, come over to the other side, set the plate so that the little white dot is in the little hole. And at that point in time, I noticed the wires were crossed. We uncrossed them, put the bike back together, and it started, as you saw, uh, really fast and really nicely. And now he's test riding it. So yay, verily, uh, we messed up. Uh, we've done it before, and I reserve the right to do it again. So, the fun does just never stop. The bike sounds really good, and I'm hoping this test ride's going smoothly. And here he comes, under power. Always a good thing. We're back from the test ride, and, and Kevin is smiling. Oh, uh, break she down was, what, what? She was what great. Uh, she was really great. Uh, okay. Accelerates wonderfully, uh, which fits because the compression was great when I tested that. She shifts smoothly, uh, drops into idle nicely when you come to a full stop. Um, the brakes are good. I want to do just a skosh on that front brake, but other than that, she is ready to go. Okay, so you're just going to tighten the. Adjuster, not going to the wheel, just tighten, no, the, no, tighten, no. tighten the handle? Uh, well, yeah, just to get a little bit more oomph. Whether we need to go on the wheel or the handle, I don't care. We just need a little more oomph. Okay. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's perfectly acceptable. But if we can go a little bit more, then why not? It's safety. All right, well, let's, I would say, adjust it a little more, do another test ride, see what you think and then make a decision about the front wheel. Sounds great. Okay.